I unhide this, you know, I've got this very simple piece of geometry, and I can do wrap it. I can actually pick a piece of geometry, and by default it'll do attach to triangles, where it's going to be looking for faces, and it's going to not find anything within the offset here. So let's actually set this back to zero. And basically what I'd want to do is set a distance so that this bounding box, you'll notice that wrap it comes with a gizmo and a center, so you can actually adjust where this thing is going to be looking to push the the model. So that in this case if I did, let's say 15, and hit initialize, there it goes, it actually is found probably way too much. So let's bring this down to 10, and initialize, well, too small. You can see that pieces aren't finding it, so I guess 12, there we go, and let's say I put a push on it, you'll notice that the geometry is now offset from from the original mesh, and now I can use it, considering it's now wrapped to this arm, I can use it to uh, act as a collision object for my cloth sim which can be pretty nice. You can also do attach the vertex and you'll notice that it does change the topology a little bit so the way that the rays are being cast are, is a little bit different and that's pretty nice too. But having this push built in you automatically get an offset for your collisions so let's uh, kind of take this to its logical conclusion I'm going to build a rectangle and convert it to editable spline as you've seen me do quite often through the videos, corner, break, and then I'll throw Garment Maker on top, and in panel subobject mode, select that, make it curved, oh, not the way I want it to go, so something along negative point three. Somewhere in there like that. Let's go ahead and move it. There we go. In seam subobject mode. Let's grab those. Create a seam. So now I've got this ready to be simmed. Throw cloth effects on top. Object properties, a rectangle will be cloth. I can use this new cylinder as a collision object. Let's actually select just a cylinder, collision object. Okay, that's still cloth. That's what I want. And in fact, I don't even need that much detail in my cloth, so let's do 0.14. So it's an even lighter mesh should simulate a little bit faster. Go into cloth effects. Let's first uh, pull everything together. Simulate local damped. And you'll notice it's finding the, the object that's going to push around it. Down here. So it's pulling everything together here on the cloth. Can turn that off. Turn off use sewing spring, turn on self collisions, and hit. Uh, let's make sure gravity's on. Gravity should be on this time. Simulate local. And so now I've got a piece of cloth that's just draping right over that piece of geometry. And so now I've got this little bit of animation on it. Let's just go ahead and hit simulate. Now, of course, my mesh is going to pass over the edge. Because it is moving awfully fast. So let's stop that sim. Erase it. 
back up here and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to so instead of it going in 20 frames it's going to go in let's say 75 frames because that motion wouldn't happen that fast or let's actually make that transparent so we no longer really see it and in this case let's grab this piece of cloth and let's put a double sided yellow material on it so it's easy to see and just for kicks let's take the rectangle and I'm going to increase its friction so that it's grabbing onto things quite more powerfully say OK and one more time I'll hit simulate And so now I get a fairly quick simulation, and again, I'm running on a, a pretty slow computer, comparatively, just a single P4 instead of duals or something like that. And I'm getting fairly decent performance out of this uh, for what it's worth to start simulating because I've got a very simple um, wrapped mesh and the cloth itself. So keep that in mind. I think that you'll find that wrap it. It can be a very handy tool. Uh, it's in many respects more more um, tailored for something like cloth because there's hardly any controls. It's just set it and forget it. And pretty easy that way. And you can see that that's the cloth stays. And considering well, if I take this and hide it, you notice I'm not getting penetrations because I got a built-in push, a built-in offset from all that. So that's the uh, the series of freebie plugins. As I said, enjoy them. Um, they don't come with support, so be aware of that. They are as is. You get to use them or not if, if you so desire, but uh, this gives you a little bit of an overview of what they can do.